My name is Zane, also known as Elka Zane. Today I'm going to be doing a cool trick. This trick only requires a pack of cards. Now, this trick also needs a number. Hmm. Let's set it to the number four. Wait, what? Ah, much better. Now, I'm just going to do the short version. You can extend this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let my assistant shuffle the cards. Now, I'm just going to show you that all the cards are different. So, as you can see here. Firstly, I'm just going to riffle, shuffle these cards just like this. Okay, wasn't the best. Now I'm just going to let my assistant just make t another pile with the cards. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to count four cards on this pile. One, two, three, four. This is the fourth card. I'm just going to have a little peek. Got it. Now that card told me that on this pile, the fourth card is going to be a reed. Starts with an A, an ace. The ace of diamonds. So, how did I do this trick? Well, it all really goes around the number four. So, the first thing you need to do is let the spectator shuffle the cards. That gives them the influence that you're not doing some sneaky, suspicious business, that the cards are set in a certain way. Okay? Now, once they're shuffled, you're going to pick up the cards and you have to show them all the cards are different. Now, this is a really important. So, start from the back side, okay, and you just go along. And you want to remember the fourth card. So there's the back card. You want to go one, two, three. So in this case, it is the eight of hearts. Now you want to remember that and keep repeating it in your head just to get it stuck in your head. Okay, and then you just ruffle, um, ruffle through the cards. Okay, all good. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to riffle shuffle. Now if you don't know how to riffle shuffle, then you should definitely learn how to ask maybe a family member or just read a book of magic. So uh, just riffle shuffle the cards. Now you want to do this. Now I know that this was originally the top card of the deck when it was set. So you're going to riffle shuffle the cards and at the end, okay, at the end, you want to leave about six cards on top. That means that the eight of hearts is still going to be on top. So you know exactly where it is. So you're gonna let the spectator grab half of the deck and put it to the side. Now you know this is still the top card and where the eight of hearts is. So you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna count four cards. One, two, three, four. You're gonna sneakily read the card and remember it. This one is the nine of spades. Nine of spades, nine of spades, nine of spades. Okay, and then you put it exactly where it is. And you say, now I know the fourth card here. It told me that the fourth card here is going to be, and you count for one, two, three. Then you reveal the eight of hearts. Okay, and you put it back. And you just think, oh, it's just normal. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the pile with the nine of spades and you're gonna put it on top. And then basically you repeat the process constantly. So, you riffle shuffle the cards, making sure that there is four cards or more on top. Okay. You let the spectator cut the cards. Then you do the same, one, two, three, four, and you look at the card. This one's the seven of hearts. Okay. Now, when you did this earlier on the first time, you remembered that it was the nine of spades. Now you know it's on this pile. So you go one, two, three, and you're gonna say the nine of spades 
and you reveal it to be the Nine of Spades, and it's just a constant loop. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.